Hey guys, it's your girl Jackie Fennekai and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hope you like what you've watched. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. How you doing, homie? How... What's good? It's been about a week. How you doing? <laughs> uh, out of breath, because I actually just ran up the stairs. <laughs> Why am I out of breath? That's not okay. Anyway, oh, of course, like if you're not a subscriber, I still want... To make sure you're good like are you good you good you all right yeah uh how's your mom she good yeah oh uh, you want food yeah uh come to the hood yeah um i'm actually not in today's video i just thought i'd come in here do a little quick chit chat with you guys just to welcome in the video and also question of the week you know i did i felt like i've started something i can't the second time i'm meant to do it just not do it so i thought let me just quickly less than five minutes of this video I'm going to take up to just do the little intro question of the week and I'm going to pass you on to what this week's video is about which we'll get into after question of the week okay so question of the week this week drum roll yes love it is when entering a new relationship would you want to know who your new ex's partners who your new ex who your new partner's exes are hello okay let's let me say that again just so it actually enters our heads yeah when entering a new relationship, would you want to know who your new partner's exes are? Fabulous. We got it out. Okay. Um, what would I want to know? Um, <laughs> in the past, no, I didn't want to know. Like, I didn't care. I felt like it didn't matter. But now I do. Like, not to... Just just to know, you know, like, if a name's popping up, I want to know who who is that person. Um, but it would be nice to know who your exes are, particularly the ones that i should be concerned about but i feel like that's it's not something you want to tell me is it is it barry <laughs> anyway you guys 46 percent of you said yes you'd want to know and 54 percent of you said nah i don't need to know <laughs> um so let's let's see let's 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 look into this oh Okay, let's do three and three, kind of like last video. Um, one of you guys from your 46% that said, yes, you would like to know. Um, lol, not knowing means you can get played. That's true. Uh, I do believe that now. <laughs> Life has changed, you know, I'm a, I'm, a re, I'm, a, I'm a new person. Not knowing does mean you can get played, it, but it depends on your person, do you know what I mean? But knowing can also be te toxic. Same message. Knowing can, yeah, it can be toxic because then if you know, are you gonna you're gonna start looking this person up all the time, seeing what they're doing and stuff like that. Like when you start comparing yourself to them, that that's when it gets really toxic. If you start comparing yourself to them, because obviously they broke up for a reason. Don't try and be like his ex or her ex. Another yes. Um, I want to know which ones they think were psycho. Um, what caused the breakup? So I can avoid doing anything to trigger them. What was that relationship like? How my new partner tried to make it work. Their understanding of what they needed to do better. It's just about communication. This is all one. <laughs> that was, I felt like I talked so much. Um, yeah. No, 100%. Like, it does. I think sometimes it does help to know, okay, why did your last one fail? You know? Um, or why did that one fail? What, what do you think psycho what are red flags to you? Like, what what did that person do? Like, so I don't do it. So that we do better. And if maybe if that's one of my traits, then we should be together, you know? I think you can sort of almost flip it in a good light and say, like, I don't want to know to be crazy, okay? I don't want to know so that I've got a private account and I'm stalking this ex of yours. I want to know so that I can just know how to be a better girlfriend for you or a better boyfriend for you, you know? Um absolutely if i didn't know my girlfriend's ex she could be texting them in front of me it's true it's true and you wouldn't know you just you think it's another you think it's another friend you just think it's another friend like you wouldn't know what the story behind them is so you'd actually be being played i think it's either you know yes because you don't want to be played or yes because you want to make sure you're not like that ex um and then 54 percent of you said no what did you what were you all thinking when you said that 
unless I'm dating someone who knows I know oh sorry <laughs> can't read unless I'm dating someone who I know by mutuals I don't care really now that's fair like you don't want to be getting with um someone that all your all your boys or all your girls are fucked with you um irrelevant your partner should feel comfortable talking about their past yes no 100 percent true your com partner should feel comfortable talking about their past um no just another thing to think about you know 100 percent 100 percent it's just another thing to worry about it's just a thing that you don't need to add to your list i think until there's a reason for that to be no knowledge to you i feel like it's unnecessary you know it can yeah it can become toxic yeah knowing can end up being a toxic thing and can actually ruin your relationship more than fix it um but yeah that's what you guys have said that's what it, uh, my favorite one is probably i don't need the stress please yeah stress free 2021 we're going into 2022 to stress free that's what we're doing that's what we're doing around here you know we don't need the stress leave the stress behind as in like drop the stress right now you don't need to bring it forward with you do you, do you get do you get do you get we're on stress free vibes but yes that is question of the week done i am going to let you guys get acquainted with my amazing cousin he um He'll explain who he is um, very shortly and I hope you guys enjoy. It is something new so do let me know if you like this kind of content. I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you all in my video next week. Bye! It's been a while, tell me what you've been on. Can we sit here a while, memories all through our phones. What's up, guys? My name is Kundai Leo Maguranyanga, and you know, today I'll be taking over my cousin's YouTube channel. Um, so basically, I go to Texas Christian University in Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I'm a sprinter, I'm also in economics and data analytics uh, minor. Um, you know, I'm gonna be showing you my day in the life. Today's Friday, so usually on Fridays, we wear purple out. So. And you know, I just woke up well, a bit earlier ago. I did my little stretches. Oh, and I get to show you. So you see, these, they're all right. They're all right. Uh, they gave me battle scars though. So, but you know, starting today, we'll be unleashing these babies. Ooh, this baby. um, today is a slide session. That's what we call um, the days that we like run really fast. So, we're gonna be sliding today and oh yeah by the way i'm also a big manchester city fan hint hint um shout out to all the blues out there we don't like united no united at all so yeah i'm gonna be showing y'all what it, what it's like to be a student athlete here at tcu i really don't have class today well i have one history class at um 11 a.m i don't know if we're going it's friday you know it's friday but yeah stay tuned okay and we're off oh this way i stay by the way uh we call that house athena well i named it house athena because it's beautiful man it's a beautiful house with beautiful vibes i'm capping every time we threw a party there there's a lot of dead bodies that i usually found the following morning i don't know i feel like people are just you know they feel like they have to keep up with our house, man. Our house is full of drunkards. JK, JK. Mm. This is why you do not do YouTube videos while on a bike. I almost fell, but it's okay. That's not happening ever again. Uh, yeah, they saw me falling. Um, but yeah. So this is our campus, it's literally two minutes away. Basically, um, our women's soccer team made NCAA uh, tournament, so we get to work at that.
so usually monday wednesday friday i m m sorry monday wednesday i lift in the morning and then fridays in the afternoon so in the morning i usually have to do like my glute stuff uh hip mobility you know the sort of stuff all the little extra stuff that counts you know because really with track and field uh, it's not about how f it's not i mean yeah it's about how fast you can move but it's also about, about like the, the little stuff that like you really can't control or that are out of your reach so yeah this is still campus still freshman dorms I, I i never really got to stay in a dorm you know when i as soon as i got here they were like oh this kid is cool they put me straight into oops they put me straight into a house so i wasn't tripping you know who doesn't want to live in a house um yeah, i'm about to show you what we call the commons this guy probably thinks i'm following me <clears throat> i'm not i am not i rebuke so these are the commons that's um this way like people usually just come and go they usually bring an artist here every friday night if we leave the soccer game early i'll show you and then yeah and there's like hella beautiful lights at night but you know like i said those are night activities i'll show you all later okay and we're back so it's like the athletic side once you cross that road i'll show you when i'm coming back um you really just see like sports stuff that's um a show mile it's like where all the coaches offices are located and like the whole athletic administration that is located there uh, i saw a creeper by my friends she was creeping on me but okay yeah it's probably a bit windy right now right i'm sorry uh so this is the football stadium it gets pretty lit in here like a lot of things are happening uh, I'm gonna look the bike real quick and then I wish I could take you out up there. But if I do, I'm not gonna be able to slide proper, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Ma? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a uh, football stadium. Um, now I'm going in the training room. Oh, that's my trainer right there. Hi. Um, I'm really not allowed to like have my phone on while I'm in the training room. Oh, this is my boy Gotti. What's up, bro? You good? Say what's up to my my, my friend, my cousin's YouTube page. You know, like it's a YouTube channel and stuff. You know, we're doing that thing, bro. Pesky, you know what I'm saying? Pesky, you see, you see know. the guy got all the drip. Look at the, you see the bees, you know. The... <laughs> so this is the training room. So we do all our rehab exercises. And usually after like a hard session. I just come in here, we go in the cryo. It's pretty cold, it gets to like 28, negative 280 Celsius, which is shit cold. But, oh, someone left someone flowers here. Y'all think, I don't know, flowers, I do think flowers are kind of cute and all that shit, but they're just gonna be, end up being thrown away. I have bought someone flowers and they literally gave them back two days later. Talking about. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. What do you, why don't you know? You know? But it is what it is. Some people are weird like that. Oh, we got the hot tubs in here. Oh, shit. I don't know why the lights aren't turning on, but it's usually pretty cold in here. And then, like, there's like a whole, um, what you call this? A treadmill underwater. It's pretty, that's pretty dope. I seen Cristiano Ronaldo in that. And it always looks dope. Yeah, I, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? This is a good thing. I think it's over. It's over, it's, over, it's overrated because it's really not really not even that good. So the um, therapy boots, these feel good. Like after a hard workout, like today, that's a move. Oh yeah, people do be passing out, so they you know keep that shit on lock. Yeah. So basically, I'm about to start my rehab. So stay tuned so you get a little bit of vibe.
guys I'm back you know, with the Manski. This is Dave Zebulon, stayed from South Africa. What are you saying to the people, bro? Uh, hi, people. Yes, thank you. It is like the Friday. That's what's right? up. So. Yeah, but uh, we have Simba the Young Lion. What are you saying to the people, bro? What am I saying? Yeah, what are you saying? Take care of business, bro. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have uh, Talita over here. What are you saying to the camera, Talita? It's a YouTube. Come on now. See, my people stay selling. Tell Jackie to First off, it's not supposed to be on Snapchat. It's supposed to be on like your camera, recording. Hey, 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 this is a Leo takeover. I don't know what he's talking about right now. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm with the British boys today, you know. <laughs> What's up, guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, E Breezy. Yeah. We're supposed to be boy, boy, yeah. boy, too busy. Hey, what are we saying today? What we got today? I don't even know what we got today. We got today. today, my boy. Listen, what we got today was some Dave tickets, and that's what we oh, care about. <laughs> that's what we care yeah. about. Alright, yeah. guys, that's a wrap for me. Yeah. I'm on my way. What's up, man? I'm on my way to the house. Just make a little nice breakfast and get ready for class. Because, you know, I'm a good student, you know, I need to go to class, so I make sure I go to class. So, I'll keep y'all tuned, and y'all can see how. Um, history class B. To be honest, I don't want to go, but I have to. I have to. I have to. You know, for my future, you know. For the future. Okay, so I'm on my way. I'm on my way to class. And I actually just found out that um, Dave is coming to Dallas uh, sometime next year in like May. But the tickets just got just started selling today. But I need to secure me one because, you know, Men's on that Dave thing, you know. I, I like Dave. He's a he's a he's a really nice artist, you know. Like, he, I feel like his words, you know, they are here, they are here. But um, also I don't know if y'all know, I'm a piano, major league DJs. They are they actually performing on Sunday in Dallas. One of my friends just told me just now too. He's talking about we should go. See, I wanna go, but we also have practice on Monday morning. And it starts at 9 p.m. So I'm low-key signing myself up for a death track. But you know, it's a my piano. I'm of course I'm gonna go, you know. I need to go show them my dance skills in the dance locals. Oh, that's what that's what the Leo does, baby. That's what the Leo does, yes sir. Right. What's up guys? I don't know if people still say that, but what's up? It's your boy Leo. No, I'm my boy Ulysses. What up, what up? That's my my boy from day one, you know. When as soon as we got to TCU, you know, this is the first guy I met, you know, he's a cool guy. You know, he be, he be teaching me some of that Dallas stuff, you know, things that happen in Texas, you know, like uh, he's a cool guy, you know, so hit him up. What's your what's your what's your Instagram bro? It's uh Uli dot L P Z U L I dot L P Z. You got that, you got that. Louder, louder. Say something to him bro. Oh shit man, it's a beautiful day. I don't know. Uh, you know, have a great day, enjoy life, you know, take it one day out of day, yes. positive attitude, you know? Yes, sir, we love to hear that, you know. So, yeah, this is where we be, we run it. Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies today. You see how everyone is still standing up? See? Looking all godly and shit. Nah, you'll see after the workout. I'm gonna show y'all what we mean when we say dead bodies on the track. Um, I think we might have something you know, like a running record today. It's gonna be very fast because there's no blocks or anything. So, see, now that's the man right there. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? So, basically, I'm not allowed to film anything at practice because you know, coach is right there. But you see them dead bodies? This is not a dead body, but this is a light skinned man, bro. Dead body. Post workout, post workout. What are we saying, bro? They try to start on it. Yeah. Wrong person. Wrong person. <laughs> Wrong person. That's, that's too much power, right? The same booster. <laughs> Mr. Person. Zimbabwe, Mr. Africa, right there. <laughs> Mr. Africa. Yeah. What are we saying? What are we saying? This guy, this guy wanted me to fall, bro. What are you saying, bro? I don't want to do that. Bro. I want to do that to my bro. That's cap. What are we saying, bro? What are we saying, bro? 
I'm standing. Yes. Just come from the wall. Yes. Here are my scars. Bed with scars. Bed with scars. <laughs> still standing. Yes. Fighting. I still have to my quitty with this guy, bro. <laughs> he tried to kill me, bro. What are we saying, Mr. Anessi? His name is Blake Anessi. What are we saying, Anessi? How was the workout? Uh, it was nice and easy. Nice and Slide easy. Slide work. Today. Slide work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's a slider. He's a slider. Let me just see if Coach will say something. All right, guys, we're back at it. You know, we got, we got Kay Banks in the mix. She's from ATL, so hence the 4 p.m. Yes, yes, yes. So we love that. We just finished the workout. You know, we got a little banged up, but you know, we get better. You know, we move. We got Jada in the mix. She on the phone call with her. Show us your sister. She wanna be on the YouTube channel. We got a little baby on the YouTube channel. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we got we got Talita. She just finished the call, job. Yo. <laughs> 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 Alright, guys. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back again. These are the workers, you know, the boat boys. <laughs> That's our school now. <laughs> <laughs> zoom it, zoom it, zoom it. Ah, look, oh this, shit. This, this is the gang we were out here working, you know. <laughs> yeah, TCU yeah. soccer, and this is TCU track and food working. Chasing that bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting some tacos. See, this is what I was Friday. saying, you know, like, I say the views are immaculate, you see that? Hey guys, uh, it's 33, 31, second half. I don't know how this American system works, honestly, like, how are you going to put the time like that? But, the ladies just scored the fourth goal to Neil. It's quite embarrassing, you know. Oh, fifth goal. Oh, my bad. Yeah, they're actually, like, really trashing this team. I feel bad. But, you know, the girls work hard, man. They work hard, you know. They work hard and they get rewarded. Let's do... The guy that was talking too much earlier on. Um, you know the whole squad here. That's Her 14th goal of the season. Assisted by number 15, Randy Peterson, and number 17, Gracie Bryant. Yeah. 